My name is General Douglas MacArthur, and I have returned for a special edition of Santa Barbara Navy League TV. You know, if I had to do it all over again, I, I think I would have gone into the Navy. That's all. People of the Philippines, I have returned. By the grace of Almighty God, our forces stand again on Philippine soil. Rally to me! Let the indomitable spirit of Bataan and Corregidor lead on. As the lines of battle roll forward, rise and strike for your homes and hearts. Strike in the name of your sacred dead. Let no heart be faint. Let every arm be steeled. The divine guidance of Almighty God points the way. Follow in his name to the holy grail of righteous victory. Hello, I'm Doug Crawford with the Santa Barbara Navy League Board of Directors here at the Carpinteria Avocado Festival. We have 100,000 people here just east of Santa Barbara, California, and I'm here with Mike Roberts, Board of Director member also as uh, General Douglas MacArthur. How are you doing today? Thank you, Doug. Thank you, Doug. And I think as the saying goes, uh, I shall return, but boy, that pipe's getting heavy. Thanks for relieving me of that. Well, Mike Roberts is head of legislative affairs for the Santa Barbara Navy League, and we're also here in front of the Navy League booth, and you'll see the uh, cadets, sea cadets are here, as well as many, many volunteers, and we are here to be able to uh, support our troops, but more importantly, salute our troops. So we're getting hundreds of postcards completed by young and old alike, and really uh, showing their appreciation for what the fine, our sons and finest sons and daughters are doing for us uh, overseas. So Michael, give me just a little bit of information regarding the legislative affairs, if you will, and what uh, legislative affairs for the Santa Barbara Navy League means to the rest of the community. Very good. Thank you, Doug. Uh, well, in a nutshell, legislative affairs, is, as you well know, is our outreach to the legislative officials. Um, some potential ones are right here in, in, in candidates' booth running for office. So we proactively go out to elected officials at the city, the, the state, the county, and the federal level. For example, uh, we'll be discussing the Governor's Education Opportunities Partnership at Santa Barbara City College on the 16th. We'll have a representative there uh, from Veterans Affairs and also from the uh, from the governor's office. One of his surrogates will be there. All right, we're here at the uh, Santa Barbara Navy League booth at the Carpinteria Avocado Festival, and we're here with some of our finest citizens, and we're talking about salute the troops. And is there anything you'd like to say to our troops overseas right now? Well, what's your name? I'm Victoria, and I wanted to say thank you, and we really appreciate your dedication to the helping fight in the war. Wonderful. And how about you? My name is Muriel, and I wanted to say thank you for um, just helping our country, and um, we're always thinking of you. Wonderful. My name is Amanda, and I just want to say thank you, and be careful. Very careful. <laughs> Hi, my name is Megan. I want to say thank you for all your dedication, and we really appreciate it. Wonderful. And I see that you're also holding some brochures here. They look like Sea Cadet brochures. Is there something about the sea cadets that might be of interest to you um well you get to go on like you get to visit the aircraft carriers and have a lot of fun okay anybody else well it is a program that's for 11 to 18 year olds and as a matter of fact one of our santa barbara county young ladies just graduated from high school that had been in the sea cadets and she won an award but not just an award she won a fully paid college education at the maritime academy and may be going to annapolis next year because of the sea cadets so we sure hope that you gals will appreciate that and think about that and in the meantime if you go back and send a postcard to our troops we'd like to say thank you for that What's going to happen here is they're going to complete postcards. They're going to write postcards to those people. We're going to put them in 5,000 care packages that we send overseas every month. And we're going to put them in this box and then put them in the care packages. So is, are you ready to go write a postcard? Yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks. And will you carry that box back in there for me? Okay, thank you. We're here at the Santa Barbara Navy League booth at the Carpinteria uh, Avocado Festival, and we're here with Amanda Penko with the Sea Cadets, and I'd like to know what is it that you're doing here, and what would you like to say to our audience? Um, we're here for recruiting purposes and to help the Navy League Council with their support our troops and all this with the uh, write, a letter home, write a letter to our troops, and so we're just here to help out with whatever we need. And Amanda, uh, tell us a little bit about what the Sea Cadets are all about. Sea Cadets are ages uh, 11 to 17. We are a youth organization. We have a basic drill. 
we do we do uniforms, military bearing, anything that has to do with the military. Say you want to be a, you want to work in the construction field, you can go to C, CB training. You want to learn how to fly a plane, you can go to airmen. There's tons of different trainings. Anything you want to do in the military, there's pretty much a training for that. I've done many of the trainings and I plan on doing more. More time here with the Sea Cadets at the Santa Barbara Navy League booth at the Avocado Festival in Carpinteria, California, where we've got 100,000 people and lots of interest in the Sea Cadet program. I'd like to introduce you to our audience. Who are you and what do you like about the Sea Cadets? Um, hi, my name is Cadet Rademacher, and uh, the thing that I most like about the Sea Cadets is probably all the ship rides and trips like that. Thank you. Ship rides, it's amazing to be out there and see what they do and how safely they do it, isn't it? Amazing. How about you? I'm Petty Officer Rodmacher, and uh, my favorite thing is probably going on the naval bases and getting to see um, all sorts of things, like going to the malls that they have and going, like, uh, going and just, like, marching around, and they have good chow hall food so <laughs> it's always important anybody that's doing any kind of service and working hard and out in the sun and trying to trying to learn well you have to be fed well isn't that right yes, sir. and what is it like to be a, a mom and a volunteer for the uh, sea cadets my name is ensign don rademacher the thing i love about the sea cadet corps is that it teaches leadership and patriotism to our youth wonderful it, the idea of patriotism is something that is about service it's about saying thank you and it's also about how do we develop youth programs that allow our kids to grow up understanding what it means to have duty, honor, and country. Thank you for your duty, your honor, and thank you from your country. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, this is Doug Crawford, and I'm here at the Santa Barbara Harbor Seafood Festival. And we've got thousands of people here with us this beautiful Santa Barbara day. I have the honor right now of being here with Mr. Fowder and his uh, 1942 Jeep. And I'd like to uh, learn a little bit about it. Can you tell us why you have this Jeep here and uh, what kind of a hobby is this for you, Mr. Fowder? Well, uh, having Jeeps is a, a long hobby for me. My first Jeep vehicle was a uh, 1942 Jeep and that was in 1953. And I've had military vehicles of the U.S. Army in World War II ever since. And this uh, vehicle here, it's a Ford Jeep, 1942, restored by me and uh, painted up in the colors of the uh, Naval Reserve Center, which was here in Santa Barbara, right next to this building. And it was closed in 1995. I decided to uh, carry on the tradition Okay, good, good. And we, we are very, very pleased that you did carry on that tradition because what we have is not only a vehicle that uh, represents something that happened in World War II, but notifies people of that the service is continuing. And I understand that you have brought a number of your vehicles to the uh, Pierre Clayson's World War II Museum and, and that uh, it really does do something for this city to have your group of uh, vehicles. What other types of vehicles do you have? Oh, I have several other Jeeps. I have uh, Dodgers, three-quarter ton, ton and a half. I have Chevy, ton and a half. I have two deuce and a half Jimmys. I have a Diamond T, four ton, and a 10 ton Wardler France Wrecker. What an incredible collection. And is all of that right here in Santa Barbara? Right here in Santa Barbara, downtown. Well, thank you very much for what you're doing and your service to our community. God bless. You're welcome. Thank you. Here we are in beautiful Santa Barbara at the Santa Barbara Seafood Harbor Festival, and it is an incredible day here. Thousands of people coming by, walking past the uh, Maritime Museum in the endless summer and Brophy's Restaurant down onto the Navy Pier and out onto the pier past the Surf Rider and Save the Ocean and Shellfish, and it's just an incredible scene here. We're here in front of the Navy League booth where the 1,300 members of the largest Navy League in the world without a port are here to salute the troops. Uh, we have people, their, their kids, adults completing cards saying salute the troops and thank you for the time that you've spent in uh, the Middle East and in service of our country. We have the uh, uh, Ty Warner Beanie Babies that were donated to the ship, the USS Ronald Reagan. We have Santa Barbara Navy League coins and hats and all of these donations go to serve the men and women that serve us so well. And all around us, we have the United States Coast Guard Auxiliary, the United States Coast Guard. We have the Harbor Patrol here. 
And we also have the Coast Guard Cutter Blackfin and its crew with uh, free tours going on here today. So what an incredible harbor we have, a beautiful day, and all of these organizations that are participating at the Seafood Festival, we want to say thank you. And we look forward to you talking to and joining the Navy League of the United States, the Santa Barbara Council, so you too can help us help them. We're at the Seafood Festival in the harbor in Santa Barbara, and I'm proud to be here with uh, Commander-elect Herring. And can you tell the audience what is it that you do and why do you do it? Okay. Well, the, the Coast Guard Auxiliary is a volunteer branch of the uh, United States Coast Guard. And we are uh, charged with doing everything that the Coast Guard does, Coast Guard regulars do, except for law enforcement. And most the predominant uh, thing that we do is uh, boating safety, both uh, watching for, for unsafe situations on the water, as well as uh, being uh, doing a, uh, boating safety classes in the uh, on on land. Yeah. Okay, and is that something that is uh, commissioned by the Coast Guard? And how closely do you work with them in coordination of the efforts that you have going on? We are actually uh, charged by Congress to be part of the uh, Coast Guard or Coast Guard regulars. Yeah. The only thing different is we are volunteer citizens of the U.S. Well, not. Uh, not uh, we're not being paid by the uh, government to do what we do. Well, that's the same with the Navy League as well. And how many people do you have working here in Santa Barbara for the benefit of all Santa Barbarans? We have about uh, 20 uh, current uh, flotilla members. Uh, there's also a large number of flotilla members down in uh, Channel Islands, just down south. And what does it take in order to become a member of the uh, of the Coast Guard Auxiliary? And how would people get in touch with you if they wanted to find out about that? Well, you can, uh, we can call you, we can have you come to one of our meetings. It's on the third uh, Monday of every month over here at the uh, Maritime Museum. What time? And at 7 o'clock p.m. And is it open? It's, it's an open meeting. Anyone can show up and uh, just let us know the, who you are. And we're happy to, uh, to talk to you more about what's going on. And also, uh, we, we, if you want to contact us personally, we can make arrangements for that too. And do you have a phone number we can tell them to call? You can call me personally at my phone number, uh, 967, I'm sorry, 964-9979. And that's area code 805. Well, we thank you for the work that you and your entire auxiliary do. We know it's an important job and it's the people like this that make this such a great place to live. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, this is Doug Crawford again. We're still at the Seafood Festival here in the harbor. And, Bob, we've got you here as a volunteer working at the uh, Santa Barbara Council Navy League of the United States booth. And can you tell me what it is that you're doing here and why you're doing it? I am just handing out uh, brochures, selling caps, selling pins. Um, and why are you doing why, why, why are you doing this? I like to do it. I've been in the service, and you know it's something I like to do all the time. So, well, we thank you for your service to our country, and we thank you for your service to the Santa Barbara Council of the Navy League. Thank you. We're still here at this beautiful seafood festival in the harbor in Santa Barbara at the Santa Barbara Council Navy League booth, and we're here with a with a wonderful volunteer, Mr. Bill Gowler. And Bill, tell us what you're doing here and why you're doing it, if you would. Well, I'm here trying to help people send a little message out to the troops. Uh, we, as you know, we're a distribution center for sending messages out to all the guys that are and gals that are overseas and so on. And so I'm trying to help the people get the cards all filled out, pictures drawn, or whatever they're going to do. Well, it's a wonderful scene to see these children and these adults sending these cards and uh, filling out these cards and having them go overseas, isn't it? We're getting a box full. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, have you had any time in service yourself? I spent some time in World War II. And can you tell us anything about that? Well, I was a minesweeper, so if that helps you anyway, that's what I did. On the water or on the ground? On the water. All right, go Navy. There we go, go Navy. Thank you, sir. <laughs> the Navy League of the United States and the Santa Barbara Council are all about volunteers. There's over 65,000 people volunteering, civilian volunteers in the United States uh, Navy League worldwide, and we have one of the largest councils with almost 1,300 members here in beautiful Santa Barbara. And today we're out on Navy Pier at the, at the uh, Santa Barbara Council booth, and I'm here with Cherie, and would you tell us what it is you're here for and why you're doing it? Wow. <laughs> well, this is a great way to support the troops. We've got 
all sorts of people coming by on this gorgeous day, all sorts of families and kids and moms and dads and all sorts of people writing letters to support our armed service personnel overseas. It's a great effort. What, have you seen any? Uh, have you seen any poignant kind of cards written yet, or have you got a, a favorite message or two that you've seen go into this box? I just love this. Isn't this gorgeous? I just think of somebody who's somebody who needs a little cheering up, who's away from home. Some young person get this beautiful piece of artwork to keep to say thank you for helping our country. Makes me a, a little uh, grateful that we have people like this that contribute their time and, and people that contribute these kinds of messages. We'd like to thank all of our volunteers here today and everyone in our community for the Salute the Troops program and for the Santa Barbara Navy League, one of the greatest councils in the world. And this one's really sad because it's blank. Well, in those blank ones, you can contact the Santa Barbara Navy League at www sbnl.org if you would like one of your classes to take on a project like this or if you'd just like to send a card saluting those men and women our finest sons and daughters for doing the work that needs to be done so we can enjoy this day here today it is a beautiful day here in santa barbara as we're out on the navy pier in front of the navy league booth for the santa barbara council and the salute the troops program just a wonderful family here with a couple of boys and John Yamasaki and their little girl. And we'd like to uh, thank you very much for stopping by the booth and understood that you took a moment to uh, say something to the troops. Can you tell us what it was that you wrote on the card? I said, I said thank you for um, protecting us. Well, I bet they're going to appreciate that. Well, somebody's going to get that over in the Middle East all alone and lonesome, and they're going to get it in your handwriting with what you said. And did you say something too? I said thank you. That is probably the most profound thing that any of us can say. And, and John, what is, what is it that uh, motivated you to let your boys stop and send a card? Um, <laughs> just, just that. just want to say thank you to the troops, and we appreciate all they're doing over there. It's, it's I don't know, kinda, it's just about it. Thank you so much. Those are meaningful thank yous, and uh, given that we have this beautiful day and this peaceful environment that we have here in Santa Barbara, we're really grateful to have the Amasaki family and, and uh, that you care enough to say thank you. Thank you very much, folks. Appreciate it, John. Thank you. We're out here on the Navy Pier in Santa Barbara at the Seafood Festival in front of the Santa Barbara Navy League booth with the president of the Santa Barbara Navy League, Karen Crawford. And we'd like to find out from you what is it that we can do in the community to further the, uh, the mission of the Navy League here? What are the things that you'd like to have the community think about doing for us? Well, today we are working on Salute the Troops. We're kicking this program off in which we are sending cards to the men and women overseas. We would like people to call the office at 805-879-1598 and ask to volunteer to write cards to these men and women who are serving our country, as well as we need some more Navy League members. So call and let Kathy know that you would like to become a member. Karen, can you tell us what's been going on here at the uh, Santa Barbara Council booth today on the Navy Pier? This day has been great. We've had such a great response from the public. We've had children, teenagers, and adults coming up to our booth to fill out cards for the Salute the Troop campaign. It has been great. We've got donations, which of course we need to help with funding the services to the men and women of the services. And people, in um, when they give us a donation, we exchange a coin, one of our Santa Barbara Navy League coins. We have Ronnie Bears. They're just precious from the Ty Warner Inc. Company, as well as we have hats, which everybody loves on a sunny, bright day today. So we've been very successful at uh, getting donations and getting cards to be put into to the boxes that are going overseas to our men and women of the services. Well, I'd like to point out that one of the things that is so attractive about Santa Barbara is that we are a maritime city, and the Santa Barbara Navy League Council is one of the key elements to bringing ships here and, and to be able to support these organizations. But the real truth of the matter is that it's you, your board of directors, all of your volunteers that end up providing the means by which people can make a difference, and that is donations can be made to the Santa Barbara Navy League by calling area code 805 879-1598, 
or going to the website and contacting us with whatever you would like to do, whether it's a donation, membership, or, or just being able to volunteer for projects yourself. And Karen, we'd like to thank you for all the work that you do on behalf of the Santa Barbara Navy League. Thank you. Hope to see you soon. We're here with Santa Barbara's favorite and famous AirPak Squadron Sea Cadet Unit, and a few of those gentlemen are here with us today. We're going to find, ask them uh, who they are and what it is they're doing in the Sea Cadets at this beautiful day, and then like to find out from uh, from Mr. Rademacher here, what is, uh, what is it that you see going on here today? Hi, I'm Petty Officer Rademacher, and I'm here because my friend recruited me. It's a really great program because uh, it gives you a good chance with the military. Hi, my name is Dan, um, Cadet Modic. I am here because I just want to learn how to be responsible. My name is Cadet Landsberg, and I, w I, be I came here because I thought it would be a lot of fun, and a lot of people have told me about it. Hey, my name is Tom Candy. Uh, I joined just to get uh, some experience and to uh, gain an extra rank in the Marine Corps when I do join. I'm Cadet Anderson, and I joined because I want it would be a great program to help prepare me for the Navy. Well, we'd like to thank you all for your service and let you know that you guys are working harder than other people are, but we'd also like everybody out there to know that this is a group that you also can join, and we will be putting on the screen how to contact the Sea Cadet Unit. There's Navy Leaguers, I believe, from age 11 to 14, is that correct? And then from 14 up to 18 are the Sea Cadets. All right, so uh, Santa Barbara, water, sea cadets, boats, responsibility, learning the services, being able to tie knots, be able to serve people, being able to take care of them. Are these all the things that you gentlemen like doing? Yes, sir. And more. And more. Thank you very much for the sea cadets. We're here on the Navy Pier in the Santa Barbara Harbor with FS2 Crafton of the U.S. Coast Guard Cutter Blackfin. And I see that you're doing tours here today. Can you tell us what, what they're seeing when they go on board the Cutter Blackfin? Yeah, I've been giving tours uh, all morning here, and um, basically I'm taking civilians aboard, showing them around, uh, giving them a tour, showing them basically what we do on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, on a patrol, how things work, what everything is, just to, you know, all around, showing them where, where their money's going. Okay, and what do you think they're seeing that they're enjoying the most, or is there a question that they ask the most about? Um, well, we've had a lot of technical questions, how the ship runs, top speed, all that, but mainly they're inter interested in uh, life aboard the cutter, how we live, how we eat, uh, where we sleep, like that. Can you tell us a little bit more about the Blackfin and the various components of the ship? Yeah, Blackfin is a 87-foot uh, patrol boat. We patrol uh, from Santa Barbara down to San Diego, as far as north as uh, Morro Bay, and then we can go uh, about roughly 400 nautical miles out as our endurance. So it's south of Mexico. We do um, mainly law enforcement, uh, of course, search and rescue, uh, migrant interdiction, and uh, we've had quite a few big drug busts over the last couple months. And tell us a little bit about the different parts of the ship that you are uh, giving people a tour of as we look at it here. All right, well, I'm starting off um, on the main deck. I said, show them around. We have a uh, stern mounted small boat launching system. That everybody's really interested in that. And then, uh, up in the superstructure, the uh, pilot house, down to uh, our main deck here, the ship's office, then uh, down into the galley, the mess deck, berthing areas, and the engine room. Sounds like there's uh, every component there that you need in order to be out to sea for quite a while. What's the average length of time you're out? Our endurance is roughly seven to ten days. Of course, uh, we do have to stop in for fuel and supplies. and. Um, uh, we have a, a new system on uh, our engines that will um, let us either run really fast and use out of fuel or be very fuel efficient and uh, run very slow, but we can stay out longer. Wonderful. I, I'd be curious to ask. I'm sure everybody wants to know. I've seen it. Have you seen the movie The Guardian, and uh, what do you think about that in relation to life in the Coast Guard? Yeah, in fact, I saw it last night. Uh, me and my family went and saw it, and um, I, I'd say it's, it's very good, pretty accurate. Of course, we don't have something happening every day. But um, yeah, I, I'm really proud of what they did with that, and I think it's a very accurate trail of, of the Coast Guard. Well, we thank you for your service to our country, our service to our community, and for being here. And we look forward to supporting you in every way that we can. So you be sure to let the Navy League know what they can do to make your life better here. 
Absolutely, and we appreciate everything you've done for us. Thank you very much. Okay, we're here on the Navy Pier in, in front of the uh, Coast Guard Cutter Blackfin with Chief Petty Officer Michael Gross. I understand that you've recently uh, achieved this level, and tell me something about what it took to get to where you're at as Chief Petty Officer. Well, sir, uh, as a Chief Petty Officer, it takes a lot of hard work, uh, responsibility, uh, a lot of caring for the troops. Uh, I've been in the program for a little over four years now, and uh, I've learned a great deal, um, and I'm just honored to have reached this rank so far, sir. Well, it's a real pleasure to be here and see you work here with the uh, younger sea cadets, and the example that you set for them is outstanding. And I understand in the, any of the services that whenever you get the word chief in front of what you're doing, you've got a lot of responsibility. What do you plan to do with what you've learned after you uh, you're past the age of being in the sea cadets? Well, sir, uh, after sea cadets, I plan on going to college, uh, probably going through NROTC. I uh, plan to go into the Navy as a medical nurse uh, in the officer corps. Uh, I'm not sure what university right now, but I'm looking at a few different ones uh, with ROTC programs, sir. We would like to do anything we can to help you in that endeavor. When are you going to be looking to do that? Uh, sir, that'll be uh, the end of the school year. Uh, I'm currently a senior at Bishop Diego High School. Uh, after I graduate, uh, I'm not sure, but I'm uh, currently looking at some uh, universities right now. Well, that's what the Navy League is all about, and the Santa Barbara Council is a one outstanding council award, two years running now, and it's because of the Sea Cadet unit that we won that. Without that, we tried as hard as we could every year, but we lacked that one component, and we'd like to thank you very much for the support that you've given to the Navy League and all this, this entire community. Please remember Chief Petty Officer Michael Gross, the university he wants to go to, and anything we can do to help you as the Navy League or our community, we'll look forward to doing that. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. This is one of the really exciting parts about living in this community is to have fine young citizens like this and the sea cadets here with us today. I'd like to learn, if you would, to give us your name and what it is that you're doing here today. And, and are, you, are you enjoying it? And what do you like about the sea cadets? Um, my name is Cadet Cynthia Rademacher, and um, we're at, here at the Seafood Festival, and we're getting to help out on the Blackfin, and that's a drug bust um, cutter. And mainly based from the Coast Guard, and we're having an outstanding time here. I love to hear that, and, and they are here in front of the Coast Guard Cutter Blackfin behind us. Can you tell us who you are and what you've been doing on the Blackfin today? My name is Cadet Lindsay Wagner, and we've been, like, basically helping out on the Blackfin, assisting people to, like, go up and where to go, and helping them so they don't, like, fall. Well, that's a, that is a very important chore to do. The last thing we'd want to do is see anybody get hurt here. But it sounds like it's a lot of fun to be able to be this, doing this kind of thing. And, and how about you? Will you introduce our, yourself and uh, let us know what you, you think of this day with the Blackfin? I'm Amanda Penko, and I have been just helping out with the Blackfin and doing recruiting and just walking around making sure everybody needs to do what they're doing. Helping with recruiting. You know, recruiting and volunteer work is what it's all about that makes us a great country and for us to be able to have this peaceful place that we have here. How is it somebody goes about volunteering and becoming a member of the Sea Cadets? You fill out all the paperwork, make sure you have the physical requirements and all your medical requirements, and it's as easy as that. And can they get in touch of you with any of you at a website? Do you know what a website address is? SeaCadets.org. You can go there, find the unit locator, and go to the Santa Barbara unit, and you can find information on how to contact us. Well, I'd like to thank you all for your service and your extra duty that you're putting in. Duty, honor, and country above all else. These are what make our country great, our next generation, and we thank you very, very much.